The quints on TLC's Outdaughtered are proof that everything is bigger in Texas, even families. But while these five little ladies might look a lot alike, they each have their own distinct personalities. Here's what you don't know about the quints on Outdaughtered. Obviously, having five babies at once made for a tough pregnancy for mom Danielle Busby. There is an enormous risk when you deliver multiples. Danielle gave birth to the quince on Outdaughtered at only 28 weeks, and the babies then spent three full months in the neonatal intensive care unit, or NICU. That time was understandably very difficult for Danielle and husband Adam Busby, something Danielle has shared on Instagram, writing, the fact that five of them were 28 weekers and lived in the NICU for three months. There isn't a day that goes by where I don't think about those NICU days, the days I couldn't kiss them, couldn't hold them. But these are my now days, and mommy has kisses for days and days. Adam also gets emotional thinking back on that uncertain chapter, too. He said on the show, I'm looking at them, and they're like tiny. It may have been a challenging start, but they've come a long way since. It was like a nursery exploded in our house. Despite the difficulties, the Busbys have always been grateful for getting pregnant with the Quints. Boy, um, did we get pregnant. <laughs> in fact, all six of their daughters are special to them, because the couple struggled with infertility for over a year before getting pregnant. Danielle described the journey on her blog, It's a Buzz World, writing, After a few appointments and tests, we discovered Adam's testosterone, sperm count, and motility were low. At the same time, we discovered I do not ovulate regularly, which made the situation more challenging. Of course, the fact that they eventually ended up with six children has made their parenting journey all that much more exciting to watch. As crazy as it sounds, those five little babies are all in school now. Like loyal fans of the show know, the Quints started preschool in August 2018. And before that, they were attending the same school as youngsters in the toddler room. On the show, Adam and Danielle met with the director of the Quints program and found out that Riley and Parker were ready to step up into a more challenging class. The Quints then went to preschool and the Busbys decided to split them up again, this time into three different classes. Danielle said on her blog, the the quints are all so different, and we think splitting them up the way we did is what is best for each of them. Even though it's been an adjustment as the girls go their separate ways with their education, Danielle said on the show, I love to have them be their individual self and grow and learn as they take it at their own right. pace. Hazel was the third quint to be born, but she was the smallest, weighing only two pounds, according to TLC. She was also the only one to rock those flaming red locks. I'm Hazel Basil. According to the family blog, Hazel loves mashed potatoes, lemonade, her family, and the color green. On an early episode of the show, Danielle's sister, Crystal, and her husband, Dale, babysat the quint. It was definitely chaotic, and while most of the children were freaking out, crying and screaming, Hazel put herself in a timeout all all on her own. Did Hazel put herself in the corner? Well, she knows better. She's already been bad. But this little firecracker has also struggled with her health. As the Busbees told TLC, Hazel was born with an eye condition known as congenital nystagmus. Adam revealed that the condition can be described as a, quote, involuntary flutter, and Hazel underwent surgery to help remedy the problem when she was just one year old. Adam said, Whenever she was a baby, all the way up until her first surgery, she would look off to the left and force her eyes to the right corner so that she could focus. But as much as the surgery has helped, it was still extremely difficult for the Busbys to put Hazel under for the procedure. You just have this unsecure feeling because you can't do anything except wait. According to TLC, Olivia Marie Busby was born second out of the quince and is a, quote, goofball who loves to laugh. My name is Olivia Marie. But despite her adorable smile, Olivia apparently likes to get into trouble. Even mom Danielle wrote on her blog, quote, Olivia is our goofball in the group. In a YouTube video, Olivia takes her first steps, but it's not her walking that steals the show. Instead, it's what the Busbies call her Santa laugh. <laughs> While the Busby Quince on Outdaughtered all share the same birthday, April 8, 2015, two of these little ladies are actually identical twins, Olivia Marie and Ava Lane. I'm a Gwen Chaplin, and the twin Olivia is my twin. The two sisters are super connected, as mom Danielle wrote on her blog. They are so similar, but a bit different. They seem to be dependent on each other at times, like when it's time for bed, they must both be in the room. They find a bit of security when the other Quint twin is around. It really is unique seeing their extra bond while being a quintuplet. 
The twins definitely have a special connection, which is a sweet treat for viewers to see on the show. And as Danielle revealed on her blog, they love to dance, bounce around, and copy each other. Even though Adam and Danielle know each of their daughters in every way, Danielle admitted that even so, they both get the twins mixed up sometimes, which is totally understandable. Aside from being one of the Quint twins, Ava Lane is also the firstborn Quint of the family. My name is Ava Lane Buzzfeed. TLC revealed a little about Ava's personality via their site, writing, She's very serious most of the time and very sweet. She shows little glimpses of her goofy side when she sees Olivia get going. Ava loves chicken, ice-cold water, the movie The Greatest Showman, and elephants, according to the family's blog. Additionally, Danielle noted, Ava loves to always say, can you help me in her sweet voice. Little Ava is also practically her mommy's shadow. For a 2018 Mother's Day blog post, Danielle wrote a sweet note to Ava, saying, You taught me that I am not really a claustrophobic person if it is you that is glued right next to me. I love how you love me even if you are mad at me and you still want to be right next to me. Next up in the Quint lineup is Riley Page. TLC said of the next Busby baby, Riley is the fourth baby born and has always been the rowdy one. She's the first to greet the strangers and always wants to wander around and explore. Riley loves sweets the most. She is a little drama queen and knows how to manipulate everyone around her to get what she wants. Even though she can be a little sneaky if there's dessert around, Riley is completely adored by her family. Danielle wrote to her daughter, You amaze me daily. I don't know how I have a little girl like you, but you truly are amazing. You have taught me what the true meaning of having patience is, and you constantly make me think outside the box. Riley is a handful, as Danielle admits, but she's also smart and sweet, which just makes her all the more lovable. It turns out getting into trouble isn't the only thing Riley Busby can totally crush. The adorable Quint on Out Daughtered is also really good at stealing her daddy's heart. According to Danielle, Riley takes after Adam in a lot of ways. She wrote, She's way more like Adam when I think about it. She may not always be telling the truth, but she will for sure tell you when someone else is doing something wrong. She is overly dramatic about everything, especially when she gets in trouble. She talks back, wants to have the last word, and is just all around strong-willed. I love this about her, though. She sure is sure on who she is and what she wants. Hey, Parker Kate. Parker Kate is the youngest of all the Quints, and according to TLC, she is the tallest of the girls and enjoys climbing and running around. The network noted, This girl runs. Parker is the most observant and likes to people watch. She has always been the quietest but has come out of her shell since being more mobile. She squeals a lot now and likes to be loud. Parker definitely has a special place in her mom's heart as the youngest child of the family. Danielle wrote to her daughter in 2018, You are a doll. You have a smile that will light up any room, and though you are a daddy's girl, you are forever my baby. You taught me that there really is someone out there more stubborn than me. But being the youngest of six children who are all girls could definitely have an impact on a child. In season five of Outdaughtered, viewers watched as Adam and Danielle came to terms with Parker's struggle with anxiety. In one episode, the Quints performed at their school's Christmas program, and things took a turn for the worse when Parker started to cry on stage. It's heartbreaking to see Parker crying on stage. I just want to run up there and hold her. It was a hard moment for everyone, especially Adam and Danielle. Adam said, It just seems like all the girls have taken this huge step forward, and Parker's just going the other direction. I'm just worried that this may be more than just stage fright. Eventually, the Busbys took Parker to see an occupational therapist so they could understand how to best help their daughter, as Adam shared in the episode. Parker's anxiety may take time to manage, but it's clear her parents are dedicated to helping her thrive. As fans know, the Quints on Outdaughtered actually have an older sister, Blake. Blake is by far one of the most helpful little people. It's unbelievable how, how talented she is at being a big sister. <laughs> Blake was the first child Adam and Danielle had after their fertility struggle, so it's no surprise that she holds a special place in their heart. We got pregnant with Blake via intrauterine insemination. <laughs> Having Blake was amazing, and it, it didn't slow us down one bit. 
On her blog, Danielle wrote about how much she loves her oldest daughter, confessing, If you were to ask anyone to describe Blake, they would more than likely tell you she is a little princess who always has a bow in her hair. They might even say a little bossy, but she is perfect in every way. Adam also treasures their firstborn girl. On one episode of the show, he took Blake to a daddy-daughter dance for Valentine's Day, and the two enjoyed some special time away from the Quins. Adam said, I'm gonna soak up every second of it because I know one day I'm gonna miss it. It must be exhausting to raise six kids, five of whom all look very similar, and two who are actually identical. But Adam and Danielle have mastered the art of telling their quints apart. Most of the time, that is. When the quints were younger, the Busbys employed a color system to tell them apart. Ava, Olivia, Hazel, Riley, and Parker. But they've since had to resort to other methods to keep track of the girls. In a YouTube video, Adam and Danielle asked their oldest daughter, Blake, and some family friends just exactly how they tell the quince apart. Hazel was up first. How do we know that's Hazel Grace? Because her glasses. Next up was Riley. How do we know that's Riley? Because, because she's bad. She has this tiny head. She has this tiny head. And her eyes are really big. Show daddy your eyes, bye bye. Then it was Parker. She's almost biggest at all the babies. She is. She is very tall. Then Olivia. She is around his face. And she has um curly, curly hair. And last but certainly not least was Ava with her two big front teeth. So what hey, else sorry. is unique about Ava? Um, her teeth. Her teeth. <laughs> and that's how it sounds like part. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.